hewa hilo ndilo swali tunataka kujiuliza kila mmoja wetu why do we need the gift of or prophets someone to prophesy what God is saying or why sometimes would God use a prophet to speak to the church this is the reason this is the reason for those who are writing down sometimes we need specific specific kwa sababu wakati mwingine unaweza soma neno la Mungu na ukosa kupata specific information that you need so sometimes we need specific timely and precise answer and directions concerning some matters either it's a matter of the ministry or an individual issue so i have said the reason why we need the gift of the, the gift of prophecy and the prophet to prophesy to us because sometimes we need specific specific means Mungu anasema kwa mfano sasa Mungu anasema amekuita wewe mama na amekuita uwe mjilisti China ama Somalia ama Marekani na inakuwa so specific but wakati mwingine unaweza uka, unaweza ukafanya ujilisti tu without exactly knowing so that the reason when we need specific timely and precise answer so prophecy will settle that problem and when we prophesy we prophesy by the power of the holy spirit pia tunapotabiri tunaita divine information divine ni ujumbe wa kiungu mtu anapotabiri ni ujumbe wa kiungu na pia nataka kuelezea tusome maandiko tuone mifano kadhaa nataka kusema hivi kwamba una bibia unakuja kwa njia nyingi nimesema roho wa mungu anashuka kanisani ananena kutia kichwa cha mtu inaitwa on the state prophecy. Na pia kuna unabii mwingine ambao mtu anaweza kwa usiku alilala Mungu akampatia ujumbe katika ndoto katika maono na akaleta huo ujumbe kwa watu wa Mungu. Haleluya. And so the prophecy can come can, can come on the stage when one prophesies on the stage the prophecy can also come through dreams the prophecy can also come through visions maono na kuna jambo lingine linaloitwa trance mtu amekaa tu hapa hapo tu pamoja na sisi hapa na akaingia katika ulimwengu wa rohoni inaitwa trance you are just sitting down or you are lying down not at night in the daytime and the holy spirit takes you to the spiritual realm and you get a message that you give to the body of christ hallelujah bana asifiwe nataka tuone mifano sasa nimeelezea ni vizuri kuelezea nataka tuone mifano the ability the gift of prophecy and discerning spirit how they work from the bible nataka tufungue biblia zetu katika act chapter 8 act chapter 8 act chapter 8 acha tuanze na the gift of prophecy tuanze act 21 let's begin from act 21 act 21 to neno la Mungu na nabii vile ulivyo peanwa kwake Biblia inasema hivi kwanza mstari wa 8 Acts 21 verse 8 Even the next day we reached Caesarea and stayed at the house of Philip the evangelist one of the seven he had four unmarried daughters who prophesied four unmarried daughters who prophesied who did we just the night of Philip eh, Philip alikuwa na wasichana waini ambao hawakuwa wamelewa na walikuwa wanatabiri hawakuwa manabii lakini walikuwa na kipawa cha kutabiri after we had been there a number of days a prophet now we also see a prophet a prophet named Agabus came down from Judea coming over to us he took Paul's bed have you there hallelujah tuko mahali tuko sawa 
took uh, 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 Paul's belt, tied his own hands on feet with the eat and say. The Holy Spirit says, Uli na visa sana tabii. Kumbuka kuna hawa wasiana waingi walikuwa wametabiri na ya mkili kile walichokuwa wametabiri dicho huyu nabii anapotabiri na anasema hivi. The Holy Spirit says, in this way the Jews uh, 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 the Jewish leaders in Jerusalem will bind the owner of this belt and will hand him over to the Gentiles. This is Apostle Paul. A prophet is prophesying. And probably even their other four daughters had prophesied. So the prophet is confirming. Kili Abacho. How was Jana Waide? Walikuwa metabili. Haa, bilibi na sema kili. When we had this, we and the people there pleaded with Paul not to go up to Jerusalem. Then Paul answered, Why are you weeping and breaking my heart? I'm ready not only to be bound, but also to die in Jerusalem for the name of the Lord Jesus. When he would not be dissuaded, we gave up and said, the Lord's will be done. Hallelujah. We will be Apostle Paul on a view that level. Acts chapter 8. Acts chapter 9, sorry. Acts chapter 9. Acts chapter 9. Acts chapter 9. In Damascus, there was a disciple named Ananias. The Lord called to him in a vision. Ananias. Ananias. On a prophecy, on a vision. Ananias, yes, Lord, he answered. The Lord told him, Go to the house of Judas on Street Street and ask for a man from Tarsus named Saul, for he is uh, for his prey. In a vision, he has seen a man named Ananias come and place his hand, uh, hand on him to restore his sight. Hallelujah. Lord, Ananias answered, I have heard many reports about this man and all the harm he has done to your holy people in Jerusalem. And he has come here with authority from the chief priest to arrest all who call on your name. The Lord answered to him and said, But the Lord, uh, the Lord said to him, to Ananias, God, this man is my chosen instrument to proclaim my name. To the Gentiles, I want you to underline Gentiles and their kings. And you can also underline their kings. Kwa sababu, yale maandiko tumea soma na ule unabiu liyo tolewa, kuna jambo ni tatalo elezea, mana unabiu na ule tolewa, haufuati tu unabiu kwa sababu umetishwa, unafuata kida bacha wahu wa mungu, alikuwa menena kwanza. Hallelujah. What God said first of a right, of a uh, right, what God will say the second time. Muna niye watu wa mungu. Nakana kuwauliza, niyo mana ni mesema unabiu na potolewa, hatu tatishika. Tutapima huo na di na neno na mungu. Between the prophecy, hapo, always hold on to the first voice of God. Hallelujah. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Sauti ya kwanza diwa ya mungu. Hisu sauti zingine zinakujala za pili ni zawe zinawanya ngaji na shetani. And at all time, because I don't have time, go and read the first kings chapter 13. First kings chapter 13. So my higher man, the God of Azir, the son of Kwanza Hali, the Adil, and 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 Nabi Udobo, a young prophet, ame nene wana mungu bisuri, ame mamia, ene utabiria haya madhabahu ya Jeroboam, kwa sababu ni madhabahu maofi ya liyo kuwe mainuliwaji, bebe, na uyamia haya madhabahu ya tapasuka katikati. 
na hawa hawa priest wengi amewatafuta na amewafanya kuwa mapriest wake saki kuingia katika the detail of that message wa siku moja watakoroa kafara kwenye haya madhabahu aliyoyainua na akatoa unabii na baada ya kutoa unabii Jeroboam alikuwa karibu na haya madhabahu akataka kumshika but the bible says his hand was you know shrived mkono wake ukajikunja na kwa hiyo hanga inaweza kumpiga huyu nabii ayaye prophet lakini huyu nabii huyu huyu mfalme akamulilia huyu nabii mdogo akamwambia dio mbe ni pole akapona mkono wake ukawa sawa Jambo la kwanza bado huyu kingi Jeroboam alimwambia this young prophet twende kwangu na kukuka before i forget Mungu alipomtokea kienda kutabiria hapa madhabahu alikuwa amepa maagizo matatu i'm talking about the first voice wende utabiri usire sikunywe na ile njia hiyo iende geuza utumie njia nyingine lakini lakini baada ya kuombewa na this prophet Thank you. 